three and four. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then welcome. My name's Emma and in today's video I thought I would do a updated eyeshadow palette collection. Now, I have a lot so I'm going to be breaking it down to two parts. I'm going to do drugstore and like cheaper ones first and then in my next video that's going to be going up soon will be my higher end like eyeshadow palettes. So let's get started. So I've got a lot of revolution because my favourite is revolution. So I'm just going to go straight into the makeup revolutions one. So I have the four pan palettes that they do. I have one, two, three, four. I have seven of those. So we'll go through these first. So the first one that I have is the Revolution Iconic Vitality Palette. So it looks like this. So I'll just show you. It's got more of like pinky, shimmery brown tones in it. That's that one. And this is called the Iconic Vitality. And all these are £4 by the way. So I have that one. I have the Neutrals 2 which I love, it's more like red pinks like this shimmer in the corner here is beautiful so if you're more into like your berry pinky tones I'd go for this one this one's the neutrals too I have that one this one I love as well, the purple one, this is in visionary so this is like the copy of like the Norvina one that one there so if you prefer like purples then go for this one is that one? I'm not gonna be doing swatches, I always will be here all night. This is the subculture dupe, and this is iconic division, which looks a bit like this. I think I might do a video actually testing this against the subculture palette because I have the subculture palette, so that'll be interesting. But there's that one that's in iconic division. Then we have neutrals three which is more like dark berry-ish tones that one there because that's neutrals three so the bottom one is the neutrals three which is that one and then the top one is the neutrals two so they are different but yeah So yeah, that's the neutrals three. The pigment on these are insane by the way, four pounds. Next one I have is the, I think it's called Sultry by Anastasia. This is the dupe and this is in Velvet Rose. So this is much more like, oh it's more like the soft glam palette actually. Because this is what you do with this palette in soft glam. <laughs> So I love that gold right there. That gold is beautiful. So there's a close up of the colours. And that one is the Velvet Rose. Then we have the blue one, like the blue green one. And this is in Deep Dive. Which looks like that. So if you want more of like bluey green tones then definitely go for this one. So yeah, that's all my mini palettes by Revolution, the four pound ones. Next I have the Soph X Revolution Extra Spice Palette, which looks a bit like this. Now I love these, the quality of these shadows are so good. This one retails I think for 10, 10 pounds. Mine is so dirty, look at the back of that. Oops. Then we have the Revolution Pro Lux 3 in 1 palette in Eat, Sleep, Makeup, Repeat, which it looks a bit like this one, so this is much more bright colours. So I'm not quite sure how much that one is though. It comes with the little name sheet though, which is annoying. 
Next for Revolution, we have the Shadow Palette in, in, in Constellation, sorry. The packaging, oh, the packaging. I can't get over this packaging, it's insane. It's like a full on galaxy world. So that's that, and then the shadows, has everyone seen already? Is this one? This is the brighter palette out of all the collection they did. I think this one retails for what, £10 as well. Then I have the Revolution Pro. I have the Trends Mischief Mattes palette. These are these ones here. Which I absolutely adore. So the quality of these are good too. And I think this retails for £8. I'm pretty sure. So there's that one. If you want some bright colours, then definitely go for that one. And we have another collab, which is the Revolution Tammy Tropical Carnival Shadow Palette. Still got mine in the box because I've only used it like once. But there's the packaging. And then the inside. Bam! There's bright colours there. Quality of these shadows are so good too. I think this one retails for £10 as well. Sorry if you can hear drilling or whatever that is. But yeah. Now I'm going to move on. So they're the palettes that I have been using. So these are other palettes that I've been using. And then I'm going to go into my chocolate bar palettes by I Heart Revolution and then I will go into new palettes that I haven't tried yet that I will be doing videos on so next I have the PS9 shadow custom palette so it's the one where you buy the single shadows appreciating that so that was just a palette that I made up but yeah that the quality of those is so good so I have that one and I have a mini one as well which is the four one which is more of like neutral with that gold I have that one. Oh, we also have one more Primark one this is the master eye palette which has got the MAC packaging and then looks like that but it's just got like the MAC packaging on that there. Then I'm going to move on to the GWA Bombshell eyeshadow palette. My little strap broke, which is fabulous. But yeah, these are the colours inside. Like that. I don't really use this one as much, but I might give it a go. So there's that one there. Packaging's pretty gold. Next we have the Obsession, so this is the Be Obsessed with, oh no it's the Obsession palettes and this one's the Be Obsessed with palette, which looks a bit like this, the packaging on this is beautiful, it's like silver, I'm going to show you, it's like silvery gold, like silvery, so yeah, love that, and I use the colours inside, so that's that one. And I have the Be In Love With palette too, which is much more like soft, romantic, neutral colours. Shows ones there. And then I have my own one that I made up, which is the Makeup Obsession ones that you can make up yourself. And then these are just the ones that I went for. But yeah, the quality of these are very good too. So there's that one. We have one little Makeup Academy one, MUA one. This is another bright one. This actually is very good quality and I think it's like £4 as well. So if you're looking for a bright one, I'd go for that one. Or if you want to pay a little bit more, then go for the Revolution Pro one. And then I have one Pro Fusion one, which is the Mixed Metals in Amber. Which is this. It's much more like a warm toned... Yeah, just like a warm toned palette. So 
I have those. Now I'm going to get into my chocolate bar palettes that I own from I Heart Revolution. I think it's going to be a long video. Okay, so here we have the I Heart Revolution chocolate bar palettes. I do have a lot because I got the big vault that had quite a lot of them in. So I'm just going to go straight into it. So the first one I have here is I Heart Makeup Naked Chocolate Bar which is just the white, like the creamy white yellowy packaging. If I can open it. So that's what this one looks like. Much more of like your warmer, your warmer browns. So there's that one, that comes with the name sheet as well. Because the older ones came with name sheets. So these are older ones, and then the newer ones actually have the names on the palette. Thank God. So that was the Naked Chocolate. I then have the I Heart Makeup Salted Caramel palette. Which is this one right here. This is a dupe for the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. So there's those. Then I have, so some of them are from the vault. So we have the I Heart Revolution Nudes palette, which is a beautiful warm tone. I'm trying to blind you with the mirror. They're beautiful, like warm tones with that pop of like coral in the middle. Beautiful. But their names are on the palette. So that was the I Heart Revolution Nudes, and that's in the brown and nude one. Then we have S'mores, which is in the dark brown and white packaging. This again, I haven't used this one, but it's beautiful as well. Beautiful warm, roast, warm tones there. So beautiful warm gold brown, gorgeous palette. That was the S'mores. Next I have All Pink, which is the Strawberry Cheesecake, it's just All Pink packaging. This again has the names on the palette and it's more of like a pinky, well obviously pink tones. <laughs> There's that one, I haven't, I haven't used this one yet, but I'm excited to do a pink look with that one, especially that juicy shade. Ooh. Then we have a blue one, so this is the Nude with the Blue, and this is the Macaroon palette. I haven't tried this one either, but this is gorgeous. I can't wait to do a look with that Nom Nom shade. Icing's beautiful, dessert's beautiful. It's much more bluey toned. I can't wait to do a look with that. Might do a look with that on my channel soon, testing that one out. Next I have the Cranberries and Chocolate palette, which again I haven't used, but Festive and Wine, oh. so there's that one there, much more of your berry tones, so that was the Cranberries and Chocolate palette, it's all piling up over here. Next we have the Chocolate Orange, which is in the dark brown with the orange packaging. I've used this one quite a bit actually. So there's there, the orange, the gold. Much more of like an autumn palette for me. So there's that one. Next we have the Lemon Drizzle palette, which is the nude with the yellow. And this one looks a bit like this one. So this reminds me of literally just summer. With all your yellows, your oranges. So I've got that one there. These are all the newer ones as well from the vault. So they have the names on the palette. Then I have two that I haven't actually tried yet. And I have the Violet palette. Which is doing its box, which I'll show you now. I still need to try these out on my channel. But I think this was a dupe for like the Norvina palette by ABH. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, they're, they're such nice purple shades. I can't wait to do a look on my channel with those. Like a proper purple look. So that's the violet one. And then the other one that I have, just pop that back in the box. The other one I have is the mint chocolate. Now I think this meant to be a dupe of the subculture palette, which I do have, so I can do like testing outs and stuff with it. But here's that one. Beautiful shades. So yeah, this one does come with a name sheet unfortunately though. They're not on the palette. I think that is all my chocolate bars. Now I'm just going to go into uh, four other eyeshadows that I have which are drugstore but I haven't actually tried yet either. So I'm just going to grab those quick. So here we have some more. So the first one I made myself which is the Freedom Pro Artist like empty case. And then you literally just buy the eyeshadows that go inside. So obviously being me, I bought warm tones. So I just bought those. But yeah, so that's a bit boring. I need to play around with those. I bought the I got the Revolution Tammy X Revolution Tropical Paradise palette, which is her first palette that came out. I haven't tried this one yet either. I literally got a whole drawer full of new makeup that I still need to try. This is absolutely beautiful though. That shimmers in there are gorgeous. So there's that one that I still wanted to try out. Next I have the Revolution Sofa X Revolution Ultra Eyeshadows. This one, the first one that she bought out. I need to try this one out too. This is her first one. I love the packaging. This is just like nude with the rose gold. I need to try this one out. I've seen so many gorgeous looks with this though. So I can't wait to play with this one. I definitely want to use that khaki shade in the middle. So there's that one. And then the last one that I have. Oh, the name sheet's falling out. That's why I don't like name sheets. Last one that I have that I'm very excited to try out because I've heard very good things about is the Kami X Revolution Make Magic palette. I'm so excited to try these out. Oh, the packaging though gets me every time. It's absolutely stunning. And the names are on the palette. So these like foiled shadows up top here, I've heard such good things about. So I cannot wait to play with that. The absolute all stunning shades. So I think that might be the next palette that I'm gonna do a look with on my channel. But yeah, that's it for part one of my drugstore palettes. Um Part two will be up soon. Um, that will be of my higher end palettes. So yeah, hope you liked this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.